Yeah. Eso es breve, ya tus pasos se acercan Tú me debes una noche con maldad Yo soy preso de esos besos y tu piel Yo sé que eso se repite otra vez Quiero para mí Pasamos genial, es un castigo yeah. Es solo que conmigo Encontraste tu abrigo yeah. Y por ahí encontraste algo más Tú lo sabes No nos desvimos del caso Solo tú y yo mujer Tú eres perfecta, tú eres mi caro Y yo puedo ser tu nena Sé que tú quieres más de eso La que tírame ese hueso eso. Que él no te dio lo que te di Y no solo hablo del sexo Lo que yo te di Baby, te quiero para mí
quites, te doy el desquite que me quites Todas esas ganas que te tengo que jugar, todo el mundo sabe que tú y yo somos más que panas Pero nos vamos lento, que el que se apura no llega a nada, no llega a nada Maybe you can keep me away from dangers Let's sneak out together, 
evening will soon be over And we'll be back in the roles we play Always caught in the charades of life Longing for a sweeter day But this can be our moment Let's seize it here and now Welcome to 
the black girl magic makeover and black male image enhancement what's going on people shout out to the cia you confident intelligent and assertive men out there one love to you fbi you feminine beautiful and inspirational ladies today if you didn't read the description uh this is my memorial day gift to you all all right look the last couple three weeks we have been on a lot of different conversations all of you know image business relationships etc and there has been quite a it's been a lively it's been lively to say the least uh, to say the least but one thing I, I've, I've seen is a, a constant is a lot of a lot of black women feel like and I'm just hearing from a lot of black women is you know Anybody looking out for us? Don't protect us. Nobody really checking for us. Don't nobody really care about us. You know, y'all looking for Becky and all them. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Look, only you know, I can hear a lot of different arguments. I really can, and I can't. I can't argue and say that you know a lot of women don't have a point about some things. Uh, the European standard of beauty, you know, we don't see, you know, sisters getting uh, uh, shouted out in these places and how are black women supposed to be able to compete and they got. I hear you. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to help even the odds. We're going to help even the odds. Because I have young men, black men, I also say the same things. Godfather, look here, man. It's hard out here for a, a young man, you know? I call myself a prize and I may get savaged. How do I enter into the world, carry myself with my head up, confidence and everything else, not looking cocky, overblown blah 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 how can i project the best image i can for myself shout out to universal 78 how do i project the best image for myself you know i didn't learn a lot of this stuff like you said man I, growing up i didn't have a dad i didn't have anybody to teach me this stuff and you know uh i'm just starting out and i don't have Four five thousand dollars to pay for a, a, a men's a makeover a ma a man over. And right now I'm kind of in between. It's, it, it's I need some help. And even when I go to the mall, no matter what store I go to, the people in there don't look like me. They don't know how to dress me for my body shape, for my skin tone, for my hair texture. I get it, man. I'm a, as one of the very, to be a black man and to be a professional image consultant already puts me in the minority in my profession. But to be a black heterosexual man is even smaller. And then a black heterosexual man who styles both men and women, I'm a unicorn. So in our community, we don't get a lot of folks up thinking that they need to use an image consultant. So everybody's just out and about trying to look their best uh, and making a bunch of stuff up. Well, don't worry about it. Got you covered. Here's what we're going to do today. I am going to help. Sorry. Young brothers, young sisters out there, uh, preferably between 23 and 34, get your image together make you the best looking black woman a black man you can be uh in your natural state so here's what i need you to do 
Look in the directions. You must be camera ready. If I can't see you, I can't help you. You need to get into a quiet area with low or no background noise. Turn off the TV. Open the window. I mean, turn off the TV, all windows and things like that other than Zoom. Uh, do not be on speaker or Bluetooth. You know, that's hard. And make sure that the light source is in front of you. Don't have the light source behind you. That makes you dark. The light source needs to be in front of you and make sure you're in front of your camera. I need you to get on. I need you to come on. Not be nervous. Smile. Be pleasant. And remember, when I talk, there's going to be a little bit of a delay. Uh, and let's see what we can do to help you become the best version of yourself. Um, the waiting room is open. Naima, how you doing, sweetheart? I heard you say you had to get to your family. Here's what we're going to do. The room is open. The room is open. The room is open. Young ladies first. Ladies first. I prefer to deal with the ladies first. But we'll take them as we get them. Please make sure your name is in there so I know what to call you. Uh, let's go ahead and do play a quick song while... We're getting everybody in. Let's do it. I saw you from the beginning. out there just feel like no man really sees the lady out there. This evening will soon be over. Well, and we'll be back in the there, roles lady. we play. Always caught in the charades of life. I see you in the chair. I see you in the waiting room. Longing for a sweet day. But this can be our moment. Let's seize it here and now. What's your name? I don't see uh, I don't see any sound from you. I don't see any sound from you, caller. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Alrighty, caller, your microphone's not on. 
turn on original sound. Okay. Now, what you can't like, what the ladies can't say is nobody ever tried to help me out. Shout out to the Houston down there in the hills. Come on, ladies. Godfather, can you start posting your playlist? No. My music is my music. <laughs> Y'all always want my music, man. Come on, people. Ladies, come on. Ladies, come on, ladies. Wow, we got seven downvotes. I guess folks just like, I don't want some men, some women hating men. All right. Connections being encrypted. Turn off, turn on. Yeah, caller. Nobody can hear you. I don't know what's going on, man. So, you got them shook up. Why would you, Will said they're afraid. They should not be afraid. They should be overjoyed. Because the reality is, you know, black women, when you go work with an image consultant, there are not a lot of black women who are image consultants. There are a lot who are personal stylists. Uh, and the difference between an image consultant and a personal stylist is Image consultants are far upstream. Personal stylists pretty much um, are like our assistants. I work with stylists and shoppers. I put together the plan, and then the shopper or the stylist executes on that. Um, a lot of a lot of stylists try to say they're image consultants, but they're really not. So unfortunately. Um, when, when a lot of black women go to see personal stylists, one, they aren't trained, um, in how to make black women look the best. Um, that's just the net net of it. Black people, we have a particular... We have a unique way of being in this world. And in order to um, make black folks look as good as possible, it helps to have somebody that look like you. Helps to have somebody that look like you. Okay? Um, so oftentimes a lot of sisters will uh, resist, resist contacting, um, hello, show name one participant. A lot of sisters will resist using a stylus. A lot. This. And that's sad. That's really sad. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? I don't know why this is not connecting with you guys. Everything is set up in here. Call, there you go. Your microphone finally is showing. Hello? Hello? Your microphone is showing. Can you hear me now? Say yeah, I something. can hear you. Um, hello? Say something again. Hello? Hello? Let me do this. Just to say. Um, I turned on the speakers. All right. That's what probably happened. Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Oh, I see. I just turned it on. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now your speaker's on? Yes. Testing, testing. I hear you. You should be live. Okay, hi. Can I speak now? If you cannot hear a speaker. Hello? Yes? Hi, um, my name oh. is Donna. Can you 
Do you guys hear him? I don't know what's going on here. Do -do 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 -do. She's too loud. Hello? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. What's going on here? Oh. Let's get all our preferences right. You can hear us both? Cool. Because I cannot hear her. I hear you. What Mr. is going Smith. on over here? Hold on just a second. What's going on over here? Hold on just a second. Just a second. <clears throat> this makes me unhappy. There it is. You hear me now? There we go. Okay, um, can I speak now? There please? she is, the guest. Well, damn. All right. Um, here's what we're going to do. That's working. That's working. That was funky. She's la she's clear. I know she's clear, but I can't hear her over here for some reason. It's not coming through my speakers. That's that's not cool. And nothing is muted. <clears throat> Let me see if I hear it through here. Okay. All right. That's clear. Thank you for this. Is it possible to send in a photo of ourselves? A photo? I, I, I Hold on. Hold on, hold on, uh, caller. Uh, a photo? I know she can hear me, but I can't hear her. I don't understand why she can't hear me. So we're going to do this. I don't understand why she can't hear me. So let's check Zoom preferences. Go ahead and say something. Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah, I could not hear you. You hear me now? now? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I've been hearing you the whole time. It's not playing through the eCam app. That's the problem. All right. It's not playing through the eCam app. Built in. I see you and I hear you. Mm-hmm. But see, I don't know if they're going to be able to hear you now. That's the problem. Uh, so... No, I don't have anything plugged in. So, uh, what's your name? My name is Donna. Donna, uh, and you're calling from where? Brooklyn, New York. I'm 34 years old. Mm hmm And I just wanted to ask a question about enhancement. Um, 
I'm a plus size woman. I'm working on that to lose weight, but I'm very tall. I'm six feet, and it's kind of hard sometimes to Hold find. On, it's not. It it just went out again. Crap on a cracker, man. Alrighty then. Ah, there it is. Go ahead. Should I repeat everything over again? Yep, that's what I was saying. Hold on. That's what I was saying. Hold on. Go ahead. Okay. As I was saying, I'm 34 years old. I'm plus size. I'm working on that. And I'm six feet. So it's kind of hard sometimes to look for clothes that appeal to what I want to wear. And uh -huh. for my background, I'm in education. I'm a teacher. And I want to look professional and look polished. But with my... My height and my size, it's kind of hard to find clothing, I think, that appeals to my image, like okay. being taken seriously, but still being young and professional. So what would be some tips to enhance the image with my size? As I know, as I go to the gym, since there's no more gyms and work out and healthy, as I lose weight, how can I enhance my look as an educator? to look serious, professional, but still look my age, um, you know, still look young and All professional right. at the same time. All right. So l let me put you on pause. Uh, Cause I'm having this, this is, this is acting kind of quirky. So I don't want this background. So bottom line is this, you're tall and mm -hmm. um, I didn't, I didn't catch how much you said, um, Oh, I didn't talk about weight. It's kind of embarrassing. You, huh? How much do you say you weigh? Uh, I'm 245. I'm okay. six feet. Well, that's 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 the first thing. First thing I would say. Okay? It's going mm -hmm. to be hard to find clothes to fit you uh, like that. So, But you do live in Brooklyn. So mm -hmm. now we're getting background feedback. We're getting feedback. We're getting feedback. Uh, one thing I would suggest is, do you, have you ever uh, thought about working with a, uh, a tailor, getting your clothes tailor-made? Yeah, I need to work on that because there's this other girl that goes to my church. She's like same size as me. She's tall and a little bit bigger. And I asked her, where do you find your jeans? She said she goes to a tailor. What just happened? Okay. Oh, crap. Uh... All right, well, th that dropped, so we're going to have to get you back in. I need to start this over again. So, but before we get this started, I want to make sure all this stuff is going well. Internal speakers. Do you need to be able to hear my music? Yeah, for... There it is. For tall ladies, understand something. For tall women, it's going to be the same thing like it is for tall men. Nothing is made to fit tall people. Clothes are made to fit men who are five foot ten, who are uh, one hundred and sixty five pounds, one hundred sixty eight pounds. Clothes are made to fit uh, in this country. Clothes are made to fit um, women five foot four, and who are like a hundred and the block pattern is a hundred and. 25 pounds up to maybe 160. That's typical. But a lot of designer clothes aren't meant, meant for that. So we're going to have to start the Zoom all over again. Doggone it. Um, here we go. Let's see. Let me test that to see if I can hear it. Do I hear a ringtone? Nope. Yes. Okay. So, just a second. We're going to get you guys back in here. Ladies, don't worry about, um, don't pay attention to folks in the chat room. Folks in the chat room always trying to say some crap. There we go.
All right. All right. Well, crap. Just a second, guys. Give me. Oh, that's what it, we got crazy weather. Here. All right. Here we go. We're back. Audio all the time. Do 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 do. Let's see if that rejoins here. That's what had to happen. Had to restart it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on. Like I say, we build the airplane while we're flying it. And here we go. So you can get back on. Uh, here you go. Here's the link for everybody who wants to get in. Understand something. That what what however tall you are, that's how tall you are. However you look is how you look. But there is a way to make you look more feminine. Uh, and the first thing we have to do, ladies, is all of ladies going to have to start dressing for your body type. For your body type. Um, yep. Where'd she go? There we go. Zoom. Oh. All right. All right. So let me finish you, finish out with Donna. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why is she... Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. Yes. So, so, um... so basically, you're a tall girl. Yes. You're a tall girl. Um, what about your hair? Um, currently, it's natural. That's why I have a hat on. I'm talking to you when you saw me. Yeah, but um, that's why I say you got to be camera ready because I can't do my <laughs> magic without it. <laughs> you called in. Yeah. Um. You're not on. You're not on. You're not on, the, you're not on YouTube right now. Oh yeah. So right now my hair just some cornrows because okay. when I take it out, I put it in the Afro puff. I do want to rock my hair, but I want to do sister locks, which is a more professional version okay. of locks. It's more smaller. Okay. So here's the thing. At your height, uh, the thing that, though, that your height and your weight are working against you. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what do you wear as far as shoes, typically? I usually wear loafers or sneakers or boots. Oh, no, 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 no. No loafers, no sneakers, no boots. You're a woman. Okay. Nope. Cause I'm gonna just be honest. Can't have you out here looking like a dude. If you're already okay. six feet tall and you already are more than traditional weight, you're going to have to do what you can do to be feminine. And that okay. fame thing is a low heel, uh, a, a, a nice wedge. A wedge will okay. give you uh, a little bit of height. It's also going to give you what men are looking for. This, uh, the, you got your hat back on, right? Yes. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put you on camera. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. It's going to give you. It's going to give you what what heels do for you. Mm -hmm. Is give you a pelvic tilt. It mm -hmm. leans you a little forward, and mm -hmm. men are looking at the way a woman walks. Flats and things like that have you kind of walking like men. This is so, what my mom told me. Well, yeah, but, but I'm the pro. We need you. We need <laughs> you in here. So a a two or three inch wedge. Now, why mm -hmm. do I say a wedge instead of uh, a, 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 because of the height weight differential? Um, okay. When, when you get, I need you to get drop uh, several pounds. But when okay. we get down, you can actually start wearing. Uh, 
I don't want to say stilettos, but just high heels. Uh, do you keep your toe? No, you're going to keep your toes done. Starting okay. today, you're going to keep your toes done. So you can wear that little peekaboo, the little peekaboo uh, toe. So guys mm-hmm. can see that. Mm-hmm. You got to use all the feminine things to your advantage. Um, okay. You're also going to wear pantyhose. Yes, okay. pantyhose. In hot, yes, pantyhose. Because... Uh, it's the easiest thing to do to keep your legs looking uniform. Okay. Okay. Um, keep them shaved even when you don't wear them. But then from that point on, as a woman with your height, you can actually wear pants, uh, and or skirts. Pants are going to be a little bit easier because they can be more tailored to your, your weight and your hips. Okay. Uh, And now you want to have pants that are going to actually, uh, I don't know if they, they were called like gauchos at once upon a time, but through the thigh and then it kind of flare a little bit at the bottom. You want to give yourself a little, a little bit to where when you walk, your your uh, p- pants leg does this. Okay. It simulates the it simulates the movement of the skirt, but no jeans, okay. no sweats, none of this bullshit. Now, okay. Of course, uh, and of course, you still need to get you some skirts in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then when we get the tops. Um, Keep it simple. Blouses. Okay. Um, blouses are very easy to do. Um, you want to stick to monochrome colors. It's, it's mm-hmm. much easier to do black, white, beige. Black, okay. white, beige, and then accent with like, uh, you can accent it with brown, uh, like uh, espresso brown, powder blue, and then whatever your favorite color is. Okay. Um, as we move on up, you're going to have to wear a... Uh, now, as far as uh, every day, I need you to have a daily facial routine. Washing your face in the morning and the evening. Uh, mm-hmm. And then use a moisturizer with SPF. To, yeah, to I've help. been doing that. Good, good. And then uh, I would say find you an, a, an esthetician or someone who can actually show you the best way to do your makeup in a natural way and do it every day lightly. Okay. Lightly. Uh, also, you say you're in New York City? Yes. Brooklyn. You need to wear yes. fragrance. Um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue as we're getting into okay. the uh, spring and summer months. It's a very light fragrance that smells incredible. Uh, and you can wear it on the subway or on the bus, no problems. Um, and then something along the line of a signature scent. Um, I brought several out here, but um, you want to have something that has a little bit of honey, uh, some florals. Hermes makes a good one. Okay. Um, just to, you have to have a fragrance, a day and a night. At the end of okay. the day, plenty of six feet tall women get men. Okay. Uh, but you have to work your feminine. Your nails and your toes need to stay done and match. Mm-hmm. Keep um moisturize. Uh, now, do you uh wear lipstick every day? When I when I not every day when I go out. Okay, well, you need to keep your lips moisturized. So get you uh, Carmex Works. Mm-hmm. That's good. But a nice lip gloss. Just something. You don't want them shiny looking like you just ate a bucket of chicken. But they need to be. I don't need to look at you and see my lips. I need to look at you and see a woman's lips. And then when we get to your hair, whatever way you wear your hair, you need to wear it proudly. If it's short, it's short. If it's okay. short, if you have a short fro, have a short. But make sure... Uh, one of the best things you can do is that fragrance I told you to wear. Mm-hmm. Psst, let it get through your hair. Hair okay. mist. See, your white counterparts, they, 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 they do all this stuff. They put hair mist and all that other kind of stuff on. You see plenty of uh, tall, corn-fed girls with, with men. Um, and as you start to... Now, again, the main thing, the main takeaways are... You're going to be working on your your weight to get you down to give you more options. Okay. The, the smaller you the the smaller you can get as far as weight, the more options you can have when you go into the average store. But you okay. need to find you someone in New York who can do the nips, tucks, and alterations to actually help your waist okay. actually look nipped and give you that kind of hourglass shape. You got it? Okay. All right, man. Thank you. No problem. Thanks Thank a you lot. for coming through. No problem. All right. Peace out. I can't see what's going on in the chat room. Um, 
Hey, what are y'all doing in here in the chat room? Well, y'all acting a damn fool. Don't make me start timing people out. Look here, man. I'm, I'm going to be honest, man. If, if I look over here at moderators, zero tolerance. If people are coming through here insulting them, saying anything slick, moderators, time them out. And when I see them timed out, I'm going to go back and read the comment. And if I see anybody coming here and saying anything insulting, I will ban your fucking ass. Nope, I'm not playing these games today. Mm -mm. Ladies first. Next up, we have Jordana. Uh, I'm going to take Jordana. Jordana, how are you, sis? How are you? Hi. Good. You're just talking to me. Can you hear me? Yes. Cool. My name is Andrea. I'm sorry. It's Jordan. Is Jordan? I'm all right. How are you? Is your is it? I'm good. Is your name Jordan? Is it Jordan? No, that's my last name. Oh, okay. Okay. What can I call you though? What's your first name? Andrea. Andrea. Is it Andrea or do you go by Dre? Oh, Jordan's my last name. I put an A at the end of my username, okay. but it's Andrea. Okay. So, Andrea, mm -hmm. how are you? There's a delay on her end. Andrea. Just an yeah, I think there's a delay on your end. Andrea. Hello? Hello? Is there, there may be a mm -hmm. delay on your end. Yeah, there is. I can hear it. Um, tell you what, unplug your headphones and plug them back in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me try that. Mm -hmm. She has a nice voice. Hello? Hello? Is that better? Hello? Hi, I can hear you. Is that better? Okay. There's still a delay, but I can hear. Okay. Well, if it if it if it doesn't work, you can, we can try to have you unplug your headphones. Okay. Okay. How, uh, what part of the world are you in? I am in Texas, Austin. Austin, Texas. Okay. How old are you? I'm, I'm 23. 23. Uh, height? I'm 5'8. Uh, and dress size? Eight. Okay. Uh, I can work with your voice for sure. <laughs> your voice? is butter babe your voice is the shit in case no one's ever told you thank you yeah mama <laughs> yeah all right all right so relax don't worry about the youtube don't look in the chat room you're just talking to me okay okay um i'm sorry i'm hearing the delay and so i'm hearing you say it twice oh, okay well, unplug your headphones. Let's oh. see if that works. Unplug your okay. headphones. Let's see how that works. One second. Don't look in the chat room. You're just talking to me. Okay? Okay. 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 Trying to plug my earphones back in. Okay. No, I'm on my laptop. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me see. I'm trying to use a different pair. Well, what, when you're looking for that too, what you'll want to do is you'll want to close the YouTube window and only leave Zoom open. Okay. That... That's where you're getting the double. That's where you're getting the doubles. From. Okay. Okay. Let me do that. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Let me do that. Hello? Yes. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So. You fix it. Yeah, it's okay. a double. So, uh, you're 23 years old. Are you in school or are you out of school? I am out of school. All right. And what do you do for a living? I currently work with a nonprofit. All right. Um, so a little, a little bit, cause I, I usually, when I work with somebody, I do a pro, a detailed background, but I'm just mm -hmm. kind of going off the cuff. Um, are you looking to look better at work 
professional life? Are you looking to date, get married? 30 seconds. All, all okay. So I want to get married. Mm -hmm. I want to be a stay at home wife. Mm -hmm. So I want to continuously um, volunteer at the nonprofit and do that for as long as I'm able, but that's not going to be my um, goal okay. or where most of my energy is going to go towards. Okay. I want to overall dress the way I should be dressing. I was raised in a very conservative household. My mother mm -hmm. always made, made me wear clothes that didn't fit me just because she didn't want me to get unneeded attention. And so I, I deal with um, not being sure if things fit me correctly and if I should. So I'm not exactly sure what I should be wearing that is, you know, still tailored and shows my shape without it being too much or it being grandma-ish. <laughs> So when I you know. what the first vibe I got from you, uh, I got a little bit more of a conservative leaning vibe from the way you were raised. Um, mm -hmm. but you still want to look sexy mm -hmm. while yeah. sophisticated. Yes. Okay. Um, and you're five eight again? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, and what and what size shoe do you wear? Ten. Okay, ten. Same size my same size my mother wears. Uh, you're you're going to be in heels every day too. Every day, every day, mm -hmm. at least three inches, three inch heels. Three, okay. Three inch heels that will put you just a shade under six feet. Like I told the last caller, taller women tend to, uh, and my, and my daughter's tall. You tend to want to. Um, <laughs> I want you to rock that tallness. We just have to build you from an architectural standpoint. Mm -hmm. So if you're a dress, you're a dress size eight, we're going to go from your yes, feet sir. on up. You don't have to call me, sir. That's okay. Um, um, for some reason, I'm getting Chanel vibes from you. Chanel. Okay. Uh, Chanel is a brand. Um, right. Chanel. Um, are you familiar with, uh, Jacqueline Onassis Kennedy, Jackie O? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, sir. Oh, yeah. right. That's okay. sir. Um, <laughs> A lot of first ladies, she, see, in the black community, we, we tend to be uh, a little bit more conservative lean in the way we look at our overall dress. Uh, so we tend to dress classic American. But with your Afro, you can get the best of both worlds. So let's start with your shoes. Um, black, of course, you have to have the classic pair of uh, black power pumps. Black power, black power heels, but mm -hmm. stay away from black all the time because it's such a dramatic color. With your skin tone, you should be rocking lots mm -hmm. of browns, um, espresso okay. browns, cognac. Um, uh, what's that other one? Um, all these different different hues of brown. Uh, give you different options. Now, when you typically are out and about, do you typically wear heels or are you typically in flats or sneakers? What? Mm, because Austin is it's a walkable city, or at least where I live is, mm -hmm. I usually wear like a, like a one inch type heel. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should go higher. I don't know. I guess. Well, I lived in Austin for about that long. And let me tell you, you still want to put on the heel because at your height, mm -hmm. The heel has everything to do with your with your pelvic tilt, mm -hmm. your actual gait, the way in which you walk. Mm -hmm. Heels change who you are. Shoes change who you are because they change the way you walk. Notice how mm -hmm. you walk when you have on a really nice high heel. Do you notice yourself clopping? Or are you more are you more uh have more of a sway? I can, I, I'll admit that sometimes I feel like I'm bringing attention to myself. That's good. And so I, I'll get used to it, but I still, uh, just the upbringing of my, my parents is very much I, I like understand. I'm just, I understand, but, so. when, but, when you, but when you're in heels, do you feel as mm -hmm. though you are, do you feel uncomfortable in them when you're walking? No, no, no. Okay. No. When you, do you have, see, a, a woman of your height, um, you should glide across the floor mm -hmm. and heels give you the best opportunity to, to use your assets to your advantage. You can dress very conservatively 
and still be sexy. There was a there's an R&B artist, a jazz singer by the name of Sade. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with her? I love her. Mm -hmm. This woman could ch could make the crowd roar just by walking across the stage, turning and going that way. Mm -hmm. So gliding and heels give you the best opportunity. See, when you wear a low heel sneakers and things like that, you're, 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 you're supposed to walk on the balls of your feet. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. And when you work, when you wear flats, women are walking like this, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> And as a taller woman, mm -hmm. when you walk like this, it almost puts you in your manly. Mm -hmm. But if you have that heel, you're like walking on the ball of your feet. Your hips are, your hips are tilted more forward. Uh, at a size eight, I'm going to assume, I don't want to put you on camera like that, but I'm going to assume you have a nice shape. And if you have a nice posterior, it arches kind of up. <laughs> but that's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on the mm -hmm. calf from an mm -hmm. architectural standpoint. So when we have a nice heel, your uh, your your foot has a, a the way of fitting into your shoe where men are mm -hmm. looking and, and definitely got to keep your toes done. You got to keep your toes done so you can wear uh, open toe or closed toe, especially at your age. Um, and like the previous caller, pantyhose are your friend, but in Austin, mm -hmm. 6th Street, that kind of stuff, you could still rock them rock a nice look without pantyhose in a pencil skirt mm -hmm. uh but stay in that gym and do the leg work your calves will get you a husband your calves <laughs> and your thighs really Tr trust your godfather okay i know what i'm talking about all right so when we move on up let's get to your classic the, the little black dress do you have a little black dress that makes you feel beautiful mm, i do Okay. Do you have a little black dress that makes you feel sexy? Mm -mm. Okay. No. We need that. <laughs> Feeling sexy does not mean slutty. Preacher's wives can be sexy. Okay. <laughs> New concept for me. Coretta Scott King was... I, I True. Know. See... She was out there. We, we, we have made it to where... You were made the divine feminine for a reason. And we don't want to mute that. We just don't want to put it on excessive display. So pencil skirts. Pencil skirts are great for conservative mm -hmm. women, uh, especially if you're doing the ab work. Uh, mm -hmm. Continue to do the ab work because you want a strong core and you want to be able to walk well. Practice walking. I mean, the book on the head, the posture, everything else because you're five eight you should use this to your advantage you know again mm. um without going in depth i say monochrome is always better black okay. black skirt white blouse cream color blouse beige um mm. stuff that you could wear in the office at church uh or at an event okay mm -hmm. um again at your height even though i i tend to want women not to wear pants with mm -hmm. your leg length flowing pants are also to your advantage especially in austin uh do you, are your arms in pretty good shape yeah okay so when you're wearing yeah. when you're wearing so if you're wearing a sleeveless shirt or a sleeveless blouse like mm -hmm. a black top with white pants mm -hmm. you want to have a little flow in in your pants to wear, like I was telling the last call, that your height, your pants should flow, uh, should, should have a, a little drape around your ankle. But also, you can do the opposite to where you actually do a taper to where your, um, where your pants actually uh, flow directly into your heels. Um, yeah, I love, I love, I love styling taller women. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I love styling taller women. Um, Godfather, I have one question. Go ahead. So the way that I'm shaped, I have like a, a smaller torso and then mostly less. Good. And, and it makes it hard to find clothes because it's okay. Uh, it needs to be more tailored around yeah. my short torso, or it makes me look. Like I have a, you four know. feet long legs. This is why tailors are your friends. But mm -hmm. I've no. How did I, how do you think I noticed? I've already, I've been styling you from the standpoint of having a shorter torso. 
Mm-hmm. Everything I've been talking about is building you architecturally from the bottom to where by the by, when, when people see you and work up, they'll be like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. Um, what you also don't want to do is you, you want, minimalist jewelry is always good for, for, for ladies like yourself. You have to get your classic mm-hmm. set of pearls, mm-hmm. simple pearls. And, 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 and one of the most important things that so many young ladies forget is to wear a fragrance every day. Do you wear fragrance every day? Not every day. Every day. There are no exceptions. To me, okay. I, I, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue is one that I recommend to most women. Light blue. Okay. Uh, especially as we're getting into the spring and summer months. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, I'm also getting a Chanel uh, Chance O'Frice from you. Uh, that's a, it's in a green, it's a, it's a green liquid. Uh, it's a very light fragrance, um, light mm-hmm. uh, green kind of um, effervescent. Uh, mm-hmm. Chanel makes great fragrances for classy women. Uh, and, and also Gabrielle in some uh, essence, not the original Gabrielle, Gabrielle yeah. essence. Um, all black women pay attention. All of you should buy, uh, go put Terry Mugley's Angel. Angel is made for black women. It is patchouli, cocoa, and heaven. Um, now, as far as uh, working on, on the way up, um, I would say, you know, light makeup is great. You have great bold uh, uh, eyebrows. I'm, I'm assuming you keep those done all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, your lips are a standout feature. Do you, do you, do you feature them prominently with like lip gloss or anything like that? Or do you try to kind of mute them down? Um, I'll put on like a lightly colored, like lip gloss. I'm like, I have it right now, but okay. I'm not, I don't know much about makeup. What I have on right now is like the extent okay. of well, my knowledge. I would, suggest, <laughs> I would suggest, I would suggest going to speak to, uh, you know, I don't do makeup, but mm-hmm. with with African features, sister's lips, your lips and your calves, name the child after me. And your voice, this is a win. <laughs> this is a win. But but you gotta keep your fingernails done and your toes done. See, your lips should be a selling point. Because when guys hear you, they're going to turn anyway. And you're, but I need you to pay attention because this is not a sexual thing. Mm-hmm. It is a sensual thing. You're not, I don't want you to think sexy. I want you to think sensual and sophisticated. Therefore, it won't conflict with your morality. Okay. Okay. You don't need to be sexy. You need to be sensual and sophisticated. So, when you walk out of the house every day, make sure you have on a, a nice light fragrance that's not going to offend many people. When I said Chanel uh, Eau Friche, that's that's great for the summer. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue can be worn anywhere. Um, mm-hmm. But because you have this fro, do you ever put any kind of product in it that gives it a sheen, shine, or anything like that? At one point, I was I used a lot of different products. If this is my hair, I just wash it and condition it and let it do what it wants to do. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of shrinkage involved right now. Okay. It's still beautiful. There's no better way for it to be. I just know that if I'm going to do it this way, this is what it's well, going to Well, in the 70s, like. we had something lovely called Afro Sheen. Afro Sheen? <laughs> and Afro Sheen. Do they still sell that? Uh, yeah, you can make it too. Afro Sheen is your friend because in, in okay. the hot Austin summer, Mm-hmm. Yeah, you already should have a little glisten to you with that humidity. You know, you're going to be outside and you'll be wearing shorts mm-hmm. and heels, your friend, uh, or however you rock it. But your lips and your hair should shine mm-hmm. and smell okay. good. So, like I told the last caller, after you get out of the shower, do whatever you do. A little mm-hmm. sheen to your fro, and that whatever yeah. fragrance you're wearing that day, pss, pss, let it go into your hair. Hair mist, sisters. Fragrance is not just hair for your mist. body; it's for your hair. It's called hair mist. Okay. Hair mist, mm-hmm. and your hair attracts attention. 
So use it. Got all that? Yes. Think you can th Thank th you. Think you can rock with it? Think that'll help you at all? I do, I do have one more question. Go ahead. What about dreads? What uh what about dreads? If, if you want if you decide you want to uh wear them, that's fine. Women can wear dreads. Um okay. but I still say the same thing. Um I, I I think of black women miss a major opportunity in scenting their hair. Scented hair, mm -hmm. um for my sisters who tend to lean a little bit more kind of hippie or bohemian, who like to wear like leather jewelry and things like that, scented wearing mm -hmm. scented jewelry um with you there's something called the mitza little scarves that yes. tie around the mm -hmm. wrist around the purse around the hair to where if you decided mm -hmm. on a on a sunday when you went to brunch you decided to however y'all do that little scrunch thing and psh, that should mm -hmm. be scented <laughs> i should walk by you and go mm -hmm. because i smell you And nothing that, now, not, you don't want to wear anything a lot of women would wear to clubs, so stay away from the Gucci, Couture, uh, anything mm -hmm. that smells like cocoa or vanilla. Um, okay, those that's are much vanilla. more sexy scents, and that's not you. I don't want you to, I don't want you to draw that kind of attention. Um, but there you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, guys, I can grab me a little drink real quick. And we got a couple more guys in the chat room. Mm. Oh, that's Donovan. Oh, oh. Donovan. Hey, what's, what's going on, Kevin? How you doing, brother? I am well, bro. I'm doing good, man. Uh, listen, um, hang on. I'm, I'm actually doing another webinar. Guys, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. He had to mute me. Okay. Um, yeah, Kevin, um, listen, dude, um, I'm not, I don't want to hijack your show um, because um, because I know you're trying to help out, help these people out. Um, and by the way, the girl that you had on, uh, the girl that you just had on, beautiful, beautiful girl. Dude, beautiful olive skin. Good, good complexion, complexion. Oh, dude, oh, dude unbelievable, unbelievable teeth, teeth. um and, and i i, lo I loved her uh she, she had a very she had a uh, a genuinely, genuinely feminine temperament, temperament. Mm -hmm. it was unbelievable like, like this isn't something that, that we see out of black women that, that often and to be, and to be quite, quite honest with you i was pleasantly blown away, away. right um the um, advice that you gave her was rock solid i don't know how old she is but i don't think it matters i think if dude if she loses a little bit of weight dude she could be a solid eight Eight, eight and a half and that's, and that's real cool. talk don't, don't put dreads in your hair listen, listen keep, keep the fro she can dude she can, dude, she can look like the 2020 pam greer like i'm not like i'm not even bullshit mm -hmm. but <clears> the reason why the reason why i'm in here and i don't want to hijack your show is that and, and, and i know that you and obsidian are cool but i'm just letting you know that me and obsidian are not cool right like that's just how this goes like obsidian caught himself Telling, telling me to stay, stay in my lane, lane. and I'm, I'm just here to let you, oh, she's 23. Okay, very good. Um, I'm, I'm just here to let Obsidian know from my mouth. He said that he would meet me here, whatever, what, what, uh, uh, whatever the case, whatever the case may be. But I will tell you this. Um, did this, did this just happen? Say, say, say again. Did this just happen? No, no this actually happened a while back, man. Oh, okay. Obsidian. Then went and told people that I showed up to his place drunk. That is a hundred percent not true. That's the okay, first. I, rem thing I remember. I remember this this story. What I'm trying to ask is because uh, you're here and he's in the chat room. This, there was no, this was happened off this show, and this was. A yeah. This was, well. This happened in the chat. I just wanted to. I just wanted to let Obsidian know that me me and him ain't cool. Like he listen. Like, like he has, like, like you have no standing to even address me, like straight up. I'm not gonna get into details, but <laughs> Obsidian has been, he has been dishonest about himself. Right, do, me, do, me, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Um, I don't know how we can handle this, because uh, I haven't been looking at the chat room. I've only we been running the this. show right now. We don't have to. So, yeah, we don't have to do this here. Okay. All right. Um, because I have some more people in, in the call room, but if, um, let me talk to you about, let me touch base with you after this because yeah, yeah, yeah give me a call, man. I'll be, uh, I'll be available about uh, 10 30 or so. Okay. Sounds good. All right, bro. All right, bro. Thanks. Take care. Do, do, do. We have Ashley. Hold up. 
hold on, hold on. Let me let me do this. Let me put that back. Let me put that back. Uh, let me go ahead and do that to give both people a chance to say something. Uh, and then get on to the show. That was unusual. Okay. Ashley, you're up. And then Kevin. Ashley. All right. Let me take that off the screen. Took that off the screen. What's going on, man? And then Kevin. Whoa, whoa. Getting feedback there. Ashley. All right. Meet that. All right. Let me take that off the screen. Mute that. I don't know what that is. I mute you, Ashley. And then Kevin. Oh, hey, Ashley. Uh. Ashley, why? Your audio is not connected. Let me put that back there. So we got Ashley, you're in the you're in the in the room. We're gonna put you on screen, but I can't hear you. Hi, Ashley. I can't hear you though. Um check your audio settings to make sure. Your audio in and your audio out are working because your camera's working. Ooh. I can't hear you. I mean, I thought I wasn't hearing you, but I still, I still can't hear you. So let me, we'll work, we'll work to get Ashley's audio on. And I'm going to type you a message in the chat room. Uh, Ashley, why? Check your audio input. I don't know why this does this. Sure, they are correct. So I just typed Ashley a message. Why are you not coming here? <laughs> All right. So while she's getting that together, do me a favor. Uh, guys, let me see what we got going on in here. See if we got any super chat questions. Yay. Oh, Universal. I know y'all better uh throw some love, show some love in the super chat. I did this for, for black women, black men. Come on. Put some money on it. Let me help her get herself together and we will get it going. you're getting on here's how this is here's how this is going to work i don't want anybody in the chat room uh addressing donovan or obsidian about anything that just happened i'll take care of this when i speak with both of these guys behind the scenes but as con as people in the chat room please don't throw fuel on the fire or speak for anybody please Because I, I I said I haven't even seen what's going on here. What song is this? We're going to get back to it. Ashley. Thanks, Kevin.
60 seconds. Yeah. Got the smooth groove, baby. All right. So the audio is still set like it is for everybody, so. I don't know. You say big old swole say last of his stimulus check. Kevin. Kevin, how are you? I'm doing well and yourself? Good. Ashley, Kevin is connecting right now. So uh how can I help you, my friend? So I guess what I'm looking for is I want to look more professional in the workplace. Okay. My issue is, I guess, I guess this is a blessing and a curse. I have kind of a baby face okay. and I do want people to take me more seriously. And I guess my face is more round. So I tend to keep more hair up top, but I know you keep how, saying how old you put all you? your hair off. No, 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 I am no, no, 24 no, no. I years don't, old. I don't say cut. Oh, now what I, again, I take, get a general advice in specific. Mm -hmm. So where do you work? I am a marketing analytics consultant. All right. Uh, talk to me like I'm four. What do you do? Marketing Basically, analytics do consulting. Do you, you, you're a number cruncher? Uh, number cruncher. And I give insights to, I guess, the clients that are assigned to me. Okay. So uh, do you meet with the clients face to face or is it uh, primarily digital? Primarily digital, but I do go to the client occasionally. All right. And in the op are you working in office or do you work remotely? Um, I work in an office setting, but I do work from home two times a week, typically. And how many people in the office? Um, it varies because people are typically in and out at the office. Total, uh, total, total employees. I'm just trying to get an idea of how many humans are there. Okay. Um, in my office, probably 220 in my building for the okay. two floors I'm on. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it, and you want to be taken more seriously, uh, by I'm assuming the higher ups, uh, so you can have access to, uh, promotions and things like that. Exactly. All right. So, uh, when you, how does, how does your manager dress? Do, so the remember, company it, I work keep, for, keep it short. Cause, uh, I, I got other people going casual. Casual. So when I say casual people, it's like a technology company. People will come in with sneakers, jeans, etc. Right. So does your manager wear sneakers and jeans or does he wear uh, trousers, slacks, and a button up? Sneakers and jeans. All right. And how does his boss dress? Same thing. All right. So uh, one of the issues with technology companies is oftentimes guys who are above you tend to dress very, very relaxed. Does anyone in your company wear trousers? Uh, okay, that's Ashley. Anyone in your company tend to wear trousers or button-ups or anything like that? Or is everybody dressing like sneakers and jeans? I would say it depends on the department. Um, when you're visiting a client, obviously you have to dress up, but I would look at finance. They're always typically dressed up. Um, if you look at other departments, uh, the right. dress varies. And what, and, what, and what department do you want to... Okay, so here's what we're going to go to. Um, 24 years old. I don't care how people dress. I dress for, I dress for success. Um, uh, even my, my boss is dressed down. I still dressed up. Um, is there, a, is there anything that says you can only wear 
sneakers and jeans and t-shirts no there's nothing that says you can only wear sneakers right, then, and jeans. Can... I, I wouldn't i would not do that i would i would start out with saying this number one let's take sneakers and jeans number one i would take off sneakers i would take off the sneakers and the first thing i would start with doing is least wearing like uh loafers or double monk strap shoes something like that a grown man's shoe okay. um they still look nice with jeans and you can still wear them with a are you saying you guys wear t-shirts too uh some people wear t-shirts my typical dress is usually um chelsea boots jeans and probably a college shirt a a college shirt meaning a polo style shirt uh button up okay okay ashley you can try to get back on um using your phone too i don't know if that was you that just came in all right, so if you're in jeans and a button up, I, I would just kick out the sneakers. Kick out the sneakers to begin with. Um, Chelsea boots, they tend to work for everything, but Chelsea boots are probably not the best fit at 24 years old. Uh, monk straps, single monk, double monk, uh, loafers, you know, loafers are, are, are a good mix of everything. They can be leather um change the different colors uh and the thing is when you wear jeans they need to make you need to make sure that you are wearing dress denim dark blue black see denim is where a lot of guys get in trouble uh wearing jeans that are distressed very light color denim uh, stuff that you wore in college and that is where it tends to hurt guys dark blue like indigo blue or black is where i would focus on because if you wear those those almost look like slacks and i would go for raw denim or selvedge s-e-l-v-e-d-g-e um no distressing no ripping no tearing none of that kind of stuff okay understood okay then as you move up you're wearing a, you're wearing a button-up shirt great uh mizzen and main what what part of the country are you in? Uh, New York City. Okay, Mizzen in Maine. There's a that's a, that's, a, that's a brand. There's a style of shirt called called a. Hold on. There's a style of shirt. There is a style of shirt called a performance shirt. This shirt right here is is one of those styles. You notice how it looks like a white dress shirt? Mm-hmm. But it's actually made of a dry fit kind of material. So um it wears like it wears like uh a shirt that you would wear, those dry fit shirts you would wear to the gym. But it still looks like a dress shirt. Mizzen in Maine is a company that makes these nationwide. Um, you can wear them under as a straight up button up. You can wear them under a blazer. You can wear them under suits. But it gives you the best of both worlds, especially as it starts to get hot. Especially okay. as it starts to get hot. Um, I get that you're a young professional starting out, but you also have to be thinking about you're not necessarily going to be working with the company you're working in for the rest of your life. The rest of your no, life. I don't so you it. you need to, and one of the best ways to find uh, uh, another job is in transition. See, this is why I would also work in trousers, not chinos, trousers uh, into my wardrobe. Uh, so when you're actually going to work in case, let's say you have a, an interview, or something like that. Um, you wouldn't look like you're dressing for it. I always say dress one level better. Um, lastly, um, young professionals should have things that I call, well, let me go scrap it. I had this on earlier today, early morning meeting. Air jackets. Can you see this? Yes. 
Um, you need to put this, your your camera back on. This with this looks like this. This is a air jacket that you can wear on top of a t-shirt or on top of a dress, a, a um, performance dress shirt, and it will and it looks dressed up, but it's hella comfortable. You can wear sneakers with that, jeans, and a t-shirt, and you can dress it down, look you know, casual, preppy. Um, that's really where I would kind of put it. And again, do you wear a fragrance every day to work? Yes, sir. Which one do you wear? Give me one second. Well, just tell me, just tell me, just tell me. I got other people. This guy. Uh, what I typically wear is, uh, this is something you recommended. Yep. yep. Aqua du jour. Yep. Yep. And then they got the new one. Profundo. Yep. You sound like you're winning, dude. Um, wear a fragrance every day. Change up the shoes. Uh, get away from the sneakers and the boot. Get away from the boots. Uh, wear double monks, single monks. Um, get you a nice, simple statement watch. I mean, a nice, simple watch. A nice Seiko. Uh, what is it? A 500 series. It's like 300 some odd dollars. Something that simple. Okay. And then as far as your, your hair, man, your hair and your beard, um, um, that is going to be a decision you make. The longer your hair is, um, the more it does affect the way you look. You look youthful. You do look young. Um, and I don't know if you have to keep it that way. But, um, yeah, you might want to consider that. Or, or you could keep the beard and lose the and trim the hair down. Uh, okay. Especially when do you turn twenty five? Uh, in December. Wear it till wear it till you turn twenty five, and then after that, cut it off. Or cut it down. Okay. Cut it down because, like it or not, you work in a youth. You the environment you work in is already dressed down, uh, and. The higher ups look at men who are proactive, inactively trying to separate themselves from the pack. Got it? Understood. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, then. Ashley, how are you? Hi. I'm good. Okay. Right, hold on. We're having a little background problem. Do you have me on speakerphone? Try to take it off speakerphone. Let's see if that's better. I'm going to have to take it off video. Yeah, there we go. That's That sounds better. That's a little bit better sound. Okay, is this better? Uh-huh. Uh, let, okay. me, let me do this. So, do you have an iPhone? I do, yes. Um, okay. We can... I was going to, like, video on my actual laptop and then um, call you on my phone, but... Yeah, um, let's see, on the iPhone, you should still be able to do that. So on on the little icon where the microphone is, it should have it should have two options. It say uh, start video or stop video, and the video should have a, uh, does it have like a little uh, cross out symbol on it? It does, yeah. Okay. Tap. But I have to put you on speaker. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, okay, well, let's let's do it this way. Um, there we go. How old are you? I'm 26. She's 26 years old. And where do you live? Yeah. Um, I call them the in Toronto. Say again. Yeah, it, yeah, it's not gonna work on the video. You gotta, you, you know, let me let me just take a, let me hold on, don't stop real quick. Let me take a picture real quick so I can just kind of hold it up there. <laughs> All right, now you can go off. Now you can go off. All right, she's a good sport. So you're 26, and you live where? In Canada, Toronto. I called previously. Oh, um, you're the Can you're the Canada lady. Yes. <laughs> so um, a lot of people tell me I look younger than what I am. So um, same with like the previous guy. Sometimes people don't take me serious because of mm -hmm. how young I look. Okay. So I'm, I like to wear bright colors, and I am kind of into the urban style, but I'm wondering how I can change that, I guess. Now, what do you do for a living? 
Um, I just wear customer service. All right. Um, and are you tr- are you trying to change your personal look, your professional look? Um, more for dating. More for dating. Okay. Yes. Um, how tall are you? I'm five foot one. Five foot one. Uh, dress size? Uh, about a six. Okay. Uh, and you're kind of busty. I am. So, yes, very. <laughs> um, again, how often do you wear heels? Not enough. Uh, how often do you wear heels? I know. Not enough. You need to live in heels. <laughs> Four inch heels are your friends. Four inches. Four inches to go okay. to the grocery store. Four inches to go pump gas. Four inches to go wash your car. Four inches to go work out in. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Again, like I told the previous callers, it all has mm-hmm. to do with your pelvic tilt and the way in which you mm-hmm. walk. Also for you, it gives you those very important additional three inches to bring you up to quote unquote average height. Be- okay. Because you're so busty, you can tend to look, women your height can with your kind of uh, proportions can tend to look squat. And we want to mm-hmm. stretch. Now I do need to lose some weight as well. <laughs> well, and we want to stretch you. We want to stretch you. So, first off, with the heels. Second of all, uh, pants not your friend. Pants are not your friend okay. because they draw attention to your shorter legs. This is where mm-hmm. you living in dresses, sundresses, uh, you know, uh, skirts. These kind of things are your friend and darker colors in particular for you. Why? Because of your complexion, you're brighter. So the, mm-hmm. the contrast sticks out black shoes, black, black shoes, midnight blue dress or, or, or deep or, or black dress. Uh, the contrast with your skin, with your skin tone works well. Um, or, let me see. Yeah, you want to stick with darker colors. Uh, actually, you want to stick with, also flip the colors. Like, let's say you wear a black skirt, a white blouse. Let's say you mm-hmm. wear a black top, you know, wearing white. And this is where you can actually put in pants. White trousers, but again, you have to have those heels on. Because I want your... Always. Yeah, because I want your <laughs> pants... To, uh, cause I want you, because with, without the heel, you're, you're, you don't move right. You don't have a sway. And even the pants and things I'm telling you ladies to get won't work right. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, and I feel like when I wear dresses, it draws a lot of attention. Good. Yes. It should. Number one, number okay. two. Yeah, but um, I guess it can be a little uncomfortable there. Why? Because more eyes are on you. I feel more like my body more out there. I don't know. You're, you said your body? You broke up. I didn't hear you. You said more more attention, more eyes, the more what? Uh-oh. We may have lost her. Uh, while she's trying to get that together, ladies, understand something. You want to draw attention. That's a good thing. It's drawing the appropriate kind of attention. Can you hear me, Ashley? It's uh, it's drawing the appropriate kind of attention that's important. Um, let's see. If we get that all over here. Uh, draw the appropriate kind of attention is the important thing um, if she can't still hear me I will keep on moving up again um, for women that have a larger chest I, I tend to I don't tend to want you to go s- sleeveless I, I, shorter sleeves uh, but the, the right kind of little the little black dress uh, that that actually um Shows off your hourglass figure, but comes right about here. 
uh, is better. And you don't want to have a plunging neckline. You don't want to. You don't want to draw guys' eyes directly to your boobs. Um, that that's what happened. Drawing, you know, if you have a plunging neckline, eyes are going to go right there. So you kind of want to have like a little, uh, an arc, uh, like a horseshoe kind of here. All right. Again, simple is better. Simple, minimalist jewelry. Uh, believe it or not, pearls still work. Um, but for women with that are, tend to be busty, I just say stick to earrings because you don't want to necessarily. Because a lot of busty women tend to think everybody's trying to talk to their boobs. So anything in this area tends to make them self-conscious. Remove that. Keep them here. And again, um, with your hair length, they can kind of scarves are your friend. Scarves work so well. Scarves, scarves, scarves. Uh, they are a simple way to add color, add texture to any wardrobe, whether you're, whether you're casual whether you're casual or, or not, whether you're casual or no, whether you're casual or no. All right, let's see. She's coming back. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh. This is true, Marie. All right. She said, this is true. Ashley, can you hear me? No, her, her microphone's not there. Ladies, something something a lot of you ladies are missing. Um, in addition to you got to keep your nails done. You got to keep your toes done. Those things have to happen. Um, you know, because God, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. You got to keep your nails done. You got to keep your toes done. All that stuff. Because guys look at that as a matter of how, how, how clean you are. Now you mentioned that you, you don't like uh, attracting a lot of attention when you wear dresses. Why is that? She went away. Hello. Hello. Hi, there's a bit of, of a delay, but um. You mentioned. I, go ahead. I just feel like some. Um, for me personally, I do have a bigger bust. I do have a. I'm I'm rather curvy. Um, I draw a lot of attention. I feel sexualized sometimes. Okay. Um. So let's back that up. Just like I told the the young lady in Austin, there's a difference between being sensual and sexual. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar? Like I asked her, are you familiar with the uh, musician, the musical artist Sade? I'm not, but I'll look her up. Okay. You, ladies, you are supposed to be visual objects. You're supposed to be judged on your beauty. And a lot of women say they don't want to be objectified. Uh, this is a positive problem. What you don't want is you don't want the wrong kind of attention. I was, uh, is that right? Uh, that's correct, yes. Okay. Which I feel I draw. <laughs> so, again, the kind of, so when, like a, a, a little black dress is different for a woman that has a larger bust line. We don't want to have something that's low or draping, but you can still look incredible. Leave more to the imagination. Did you hear what I said mm -hmm. by bringing the, the neckline up? Yes. Okay. All right. Also, you can you can actually affect how people perceive you with your scent. Do you wear perfume or fragrance every day? I wear body spray every day. Okay. My nails are on, toes are always done. Okay, body spray is good for little girls. Grown women wear perfume. <laughs> All right. I mean, body spray is cheap. I'm just gonna tell you like I tell the guys. Body it is. spray is cheap. It is. It's just fucking cheap. And no, I know. So again. One that I recommend to any woman is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It has this okay. ambergris kind of citrus thing that works year-round as a signature scent. Because I don't know you, it's harder to make a specific fragrance recommendation, but Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Light Blue, always works. Now, with what I'm kind of getting from you is a, a little bit more 
I don't want to say conservative, a little bit more uh, reserved vibe. Uh, is that how you want to be perceived? A little bit more on the uh, reserve uh, slash sophisticated kind of thing? Um, not really. It's, that's not really my personality. I'm just more shy. So I think there's a bit of a difference. But how, so do, I guess you, I don't... how do you want to be perceived? <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit more sophisticated. Exactly. That's why I said how you want to be perceived. You can affect yes, yeah. perception with scent. Oh, I see what you're... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm wearing, like, marshmallow. There you go. You're walking around looking like a whole... You're walking around smelling like a whole tart with your boobs out yeah. and wondering why people are objectifying you. Well, let's cover those things up and make you smell like a woman and we won't have those problems. I mean, we are... we Men are acting on what you show them. So what no, we that's do... That's very true. So, and also, you're not rocking the heels. Okay, you, you, you can't look like a, a, a teeny bopper or a girl. And then so everything I've been giving you is stuff that women of your height, uh, weight, bus size have done to command the right kind of attention. Uh, Dolce Gabbana light blue, great fragrance. What you want to do is keep things, um, keep things out of the sexual range. That's what Chanel number no. five was so good at. Chanel number no. five was really, really good at, at making women smell great without sexualizing them. Um, but I but I brought two, actually three, for women in your personality type. Chanel mm -hmm. Beige. Honey Freesia White Florals. Simply smell okay. honey freesia and white florals, but they don't smell like an old woman. Um, Frederick Mall Carnal Flower. Uh, it is a bold tuberose. These are all white florals. These two are white florals. They smell classy, but then they smell incredible on a woman's skin. I told you Dolce Gabbana light blue. And then the last one I brought was Bond Number no. Nine Signature. I love this fragrance on my skin, but it also smells great on women. Musk Tonka. Rose Oud. Simple, yet incredible. So no more body spray, I'm done. <laughs> no more body spray. Uh, and now as far as your makeup, you know, I would keep it, I would, yeah, again, I would, I would keep it simple, uh, but go to a professional in this regard. But, I'll, but what you do with your lips and your fragrance will do far more to the kind of attention you attract from men uh, than than you probably than you probably estimate it. Okay. Men look lip gloss is okay, right? Not overdone though, because again, you want to go for sensual, uh -oh. not sexual. You want oh, them to I look at your lip. You, you want your lips to look inviting, <laughs> but you don't want, but you don't want them thinking about oral sex. I can see that now, actually, now that you're saying it. Yes. Okay. yes. Dude, things are so subtle you don't realize. I wear a lot of lip gloss. I mm -hmm. do notice people. Yeah. Especially men yeah. look at me. Wearing all that lip gloss, <laughs> lower, lower cut. Did you hear me talk about taking off the necklaces and stuff? I thought that brought more of like a feminine touch, a feminine touch. So I started wearing those a bit more often. It but... draws my eye right to your cleavage. And it gives me a reason to look at your boobs. That's why okay. I said you were, you're probably disconnected. Most women, I say, wear a nice set of simple pearls or nice chain. But for if you don't, especially women who don't want that kind of attention, you give me permission to look mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Okay. Focus on wearing simple stud earrings, nice classic pearls, mm -hmm. nothing big, overdone. And last thing, you want to stay away from like big belts or anything like that to cut you in half? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't do that. That's one thing I'm, I guess I'm okay with. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the one thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Let me know. Thank you. Keep me informed of how that turns out. Thank you very much. All right. Cool. All right. All right, we're going to get to the end of this thing. That's been going on for a couple of hours now. Oh, my, 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 my. Guys, did you have fun? Small necklaces are fine. Yeah, well, again. See, 
One thing that I need everybody to understand is products are made to be sold to the masses. But just like I was telling each individual person, it depends upon your style personality. That's un, that's your style language. It's number one. Number two, it depend. It also uh, depends on what it is you're trying to have as far as an outcome. An outcome as an outcome. Um, some attractive ladies. Uh, I, I will take a couple more. I will take a couple more. Let me see. Let me pop this through. Pop this through. I don't know what just happened there. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hello. Are we still? Are we still having this? Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, not coming through. Hello. Uh, all right. I don't know what's going on with Zoom right now, but we're getting some. Uh, um. Okay. Are you guys enjoying this? Black women. Are you enjoying this? Black men. Are we enjoying this? Are we having a good time? Do I recommend scented body lotion? Not well. N it depends. It depends. If you want to book your one-on-one -on -one virtual console, get this done in depth. There we go. Hey, it's you. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Can uh, can you give me a second? I need to grab me a little drinky drink. Yes, go ahead. I apologize for coming on late. No, 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 no problem. I just need to get me something to drink real quick and we can get into okay. it. I don't want to just leave you up on the camera. Uh, okay. Guys, it's going to be 30 seconds. Get the donations up. We're going to get into it. Got some more to go. Yes, I love Red Bull. Everybody say hi. Pronounce your name. Is it Isata? Isata? Yes, Isata. Isata. Yes. Her name is Isata. Huh. I never would have been able to think of that one. <laughs> you called into another show, right? I did. All right. What can I help you with? Um, so I'm trying to get my image better as far as dating is concerned. I do want to get married. Okay. Um, and for me, I have a very young face and I was very small, only like 5'1". Okay. And um, I have something else in mind. But yeah, that's the main concern. At least trying to look more sophisticated, but I'm not trying to look too mature because I'm only 24. Uh, okay. Where do you live? What city? Um, Winston Salem. That's right. Okay. Uh, okay. How tall are you? A five one. Uh, dress size? Four. Four. Okay. And what do you do for a living? I work as a medical secretary. Okay. Uh, so are you in scrubs during the day? No. No. What do you wear at work? Usually dresses. Skirt. Skirt. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's say the first things first. How often do you wear heels? Not, not often. I'm going to choke you ladies' ear bones off. 
Are you kidding? <laughs> Every woman just come on here. Let me get my belt somewhere. Okay. Uh, I, let me move you to the side. <laughs> let me move you to the side. Lady. Okay. Let me take let me take you off so you don't feel like I'm saying this to you. I, I, you still here though. Uh -huh. yes. Ladies, yes, yes. Ladies. Ladies. Heels are your friend. So this is what this turning femininity on and off stuff is doing for you ladies. You got to keep the heels on. Get used to it. Learn how to walk in them. Because that is the one thing that guys can't wear. Well, we damn sure shouldn't be wearing them. Heels. You're 5'1". Yes. Four inch heels. Okay. okay. Four inch heels. Because again, what did I tell the other women? Your pelvic tilt. It tilts your pelvis. The way in which you walk. Heels change who you are because they change how you walk. You need okay. to master walking in heels so you flow to where you're gliding across the room. So when you're wearing that dress, it has the right kind of sway. See, when you wear a dress in flats, you're walking. Yeah. Versus, yes. versus tip, 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 tip. Okay. 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 All right dresses um again are you where it's an out indoor office environment right yes yes do you wear lots of patterns no, no. I, usually I usually wear, wear monochrome, monochrome dresses mm -hmm. yeah like, yeah, like olive, olive black, black gray, gray. Rarely, rarely white but those colors oh and i wouldn't change that but what I would okay. add is I would, do you take advantage of wearing different, uh, like a scarves or anything like that? I don't. Okay. Uh, scarves tied around your bun. Okay. Scarves tied around uh, your neck. Um, scarves tied around your bag. A mitzah. M-I-T-Z-I-A. M-I-T-Z-A-H. M-I-T-Z-A-H. See, if you're in a dress already, it's just wearing the dress in a way that gives it that extra touch of femininity and a splash of color and pattern. This is where you inject color and, and okay. your personality okay. into your into your wardrobe. You don't want to necessarily go the brooch way or something like that. Um, do you also wear skirts too, or you just, are you primarily a dress? Primarily dresses. I would take advantage of the pencil skirt. Okay. Take advantage okay. of the pencil skirt and the blouse. Uh, and I'll pencil skirt and the blouse or, or the, or the quote unquote Chanel power suit. Um, let me do something real quick. You're in Winston Salem. Yeah. Um, yes. And you were trying to find a, you wanted to find a, a, a Henry, didn't you? Yes. yes. So, I so I plan on relocating to Charlotte very soon. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and. Well, it's a white woman, but we're going to have to work with it. Okay. okay. We're going to have to work with it, but I don't know if you can see. Uh, what do you see when you're looking at me? I just, I just see your name. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to put this on the screen okay. so okay. people can see that. And I'm going to, I'm going to share it with you. Um... I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Can you see that? I see a white screen. All right. Well, I'll send you a picture of it. Okay. Okay. Um, but anyway, old school Chanel stuff works, ladies. It works. It really does. It really, really does. Um, now, the trick is dressing it up to make it a little bit more modern. Um Next, let me make sure we have you on the screen. Next, um, perfume. Do you wear perfume every day? I don't. I don't. Oh, let's back up. Do you uh? Are, do you are your nails and toes done all yes. the time? Yes. Cool. Keep those done all the time. We gotta wear perfume. We gotta wear per perfume, perfume, perfume. And you don't want to look very youthful. Okay. 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 So. Again, the standard fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for every woman because it just works. 
But you're in a unique position because you want to come off as older um, and you're looking for a husband. Tom Ford Noir Parfum. Tom Ford Noir. N-O-R. N-O-I-R. Noir Parfum. This is a sensual, sexy, sophisticated fragrance. And it can be worn year round. I just gave you two fragrances that could make your entire fragrance wardrobe. And and it turns men's heads without smelling too try hard. Okay. Okay. Tom Ford does some great that fragrance is great for women. Um don't check about light blue, Tom Ford and the Whopper fam. Uh you gotta wear fragrance every day. You're gonna need a you're gonna need a about three or four more others. You're going to need a fragrance for every season, spring, summer, winter, fall, a date night, special occasion, and a signature scent. Ladies, pay attention. You pay, you miss a huge opportunity controlling how people perceive you by not wearing fragrance. Um, here's something else that you should wear as a female. Keels original musk can you you can't see me you don't you don't see a picture of me. okay <laughs> kills original musk um i'm hiding my self view that's what it is uh show self view and i'll put my camera on so you can see me there you go okay. kills original musk kills original musk and then let me see if you can i don't know if you'll be able to see this in my can you see that picture no, no, I just see, I just see you. you. That's all right. Okay. okay. Oh, I can, I can show it over here. Uh, here's how I'll do okay. it. Okay. Here's how I'll do it. But what I was going to show you how the blouse looks. Mm -hmm. Which one did you see? Kind of see it. Ding. Now you see it. No, no. Nope. You still don't see it. Well, flick and fluger. We'll get over it. All right. So, Kiel's original musk. Um. Uh, Earrings. Uh, well, I would also say let wear simple simple jewelry is always better. Pearls, a nice little gold chain. You just want to match your medals. Don't overlook silver. Um, okay. When you uh, do, you wear makeup. Uh, rarely, I use like tinted moisturizers or highlighters, but not mm. like heavy foundation. Ah, okay. We're gonna have to put on. Okay, I'm gonna have to change this speaker. You're gonna need to start wearing. Remember when you were a little girl? You, I want to wear makeup. I want makeup. Your mama told you, wait till you get older, you can wear makeup. But now you don't want to wear it. Uh, you're gonna need to wear it. We're gonna need to wear it. We're gonna need to start okay. with your lips. And what you want is something that. You have a tinted moisturizer, great. You don't need to go much further than that, but you want to change okay. how you accentuate your lips. African features, we have these lips. You want them to change from a nice lip, a nice lip gloss, to a a uh, earthy, uh, to something earthy like a uh, a uh, variations on brown. To something that has some tones of red, like plums, burgundies. You avoid red, though. No red. You know, you're okay. looking like a streetwalker. Um, let me see. Your eyes. I I would say I like. I'm not a I'm not a makeup artist, so, but I would say go to a professional. Um, you kind of have kind of uh, almond shaped eyes. Um, this is where eyeliner. Eyeliner, not night eyeshadow, really could. You want to do something. You want to make your eyes pop. Okay. Okay. Eyes should pop off of a uh, on a woman, uh, and and a makeup artist can help get that done. Right along with then uh, how to style your hair, um, even for shorter <laughs> styles, more natural styles. I'm always a proponent of you got to keep that. I, our stuff needs to stay moisturized. And then like I told the other ladies, do not overlook hair mist. Scented hair mist. You need to smell like a whole snack. When you walk by, I should know 
that a ebony woman was in my vicinity. Okay. okay. So I will tell you like I told the other ladies, Terry Mouglet, Angel for Women. It's in a star bottle. It is the one fragrance that I think every black woman should own. <laughs> Patchouli, cocoa, co cacao, uh, and it smells so good on sisters. Ah, oh, it smells so good. And you always know, and you don't want to go overboard with it. It, it comes with a full range of body products, um, lotions and hairsprays and all that. But when you wear it, brothers know. It's like, it's like walking into an office, you're like, hmm, there's a black woman around. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. That, that, okay. uh, and then whatever the makeup artist says or whatever your hairstylist say, make sure they're on the same page and let them know the out come you're trying to achieve don't okay that's the most important know the outcome you're trying to achieve because oftentimes creatives want to do what they want to do with you but you're a canvas and your image needs to help you with what uh i consider to be outcomes okay 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 got it i have uh, yes i have a quick question okay um so for me I would say like my waist is like very small. Mm -hmm. um, I ran track for a certain period of time. So like my butt mm -hmm. is like really big. I'm just be candid. Um, so I have a problem that whenever I wear like skirts, like, like the bum area is fine, but the, I guess the waist area is very loose. Would that require like tailoring? Yes. So if, I'm, if I hear you okay. correctly, you got a butt. Yes. And a little waist. Yes. This is a positive freaking problem. It's a positive <laughs> problem. That's why I love track runners. Positive problem. Um, and you don't have big hips, right? No. no. So you got that C thing happening. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Good. <laughs> Nip tuck is all we need. My ex was a, a, a was a runner and an actress. I, I, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cinch that waist in. And that's why okay. I want skirts, because once you cinch that waist in, I want you to walk in and make these other women say, fuck that bitch. That's exactly what I want to say. Fuck her. I want you to take advantage of all that running and all that work you did. Keep your core tight. Keep your abs tight. Keep your back. Stay flexible. Yoga Pilates. Mm -hmm. Name the name. Make his middle name Kevin or something. At least his baby. Kevin Jr. <laughs> yeah, uh, you work these things to your advantage. But again, it got to okay. be in heels. No heels. Yes, I will. I Without without the appropriate footwear, I don't warranty any of my work. All right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. All right. If you're looking to move to... Winston Salem or or uh, what part of Carolina was sister going? Sh Charlotte, look her up. All right, got one more in the room before I get up out of here. Shout out to the CIA. How's it going, folks? Five hundred eighty people. See, you got sisters coming in over here trying to get look right for y'all. Do all this stuff for y'all. You said, I should, I need to move to the South. Yeah, bro. It's good down around here. It's good down around here. Hello? All right. Got you in the dark over here, man. Get flued out to Florida, right? Get flued out to Florida. Uh, hello? Kevin Samuels. I cannot see you. Samuels. I cannot see you. Can you hear me? I cannot see you. But I can see you though. That doesn't work. Hey man, why are you charging eight hundred dollars? Wow. Do you guys not realize? The content creators are too good for this. 
<laughs> Why are you charging $800? Because men with purpose and means pay for what they want. Little boys, on the other hand, get angry because one, they don't have $800. Two, they don't realize they don't have the ability to earn that kind of money. Three, the little brains can't process the fact that you're not you're you're lucky to get it for that little bit of money. Four, that anybody that will call into a show like this and do that obviously doesn't have a life worth living to where no matter what I could do to try to help you with your image, you still got to go live your life. Call projection people. And see, there's an old adage in image. It goes something like this. You can put a turd in a suit, but at the end of the day, still a piece of shit. $800? Oh, if you think that's something? Oh, no. And that's, and that's, uh, that's a discount. So go back to yesterday's broadcast and understand why some of you 50, 50 dudes continue to have negative outcomes. Why you want women to shut up and listen, but you can't pay the cost to even be a dominant male on your own. See, one thing that you guys may not want to hear is even though you may not like the way some women say it, they do have a point in some areas. Just like women have to listen. Any man who will call another, any male that will call another man and ask them about their money or why they're charging what they charge for their own business is, is an embarrassment to manhood. Dude, you should be embarrassed. I mean, he really should be embarrassed. And a black man did that. A black male did that. A black male did that. Now, I guarantee you, he would not take himself into Louis Vuitton or any place like that to ask them why they were charging what they charge. But that just shows you the self-hate in so many of these black males. I'm serious. I mean, wow. Why are you charging? Wow. So understand something, guys. When you have women talking about broke dusties, why you guys aren't that? Any CIA dudes aren't that? These guys share your visage. This is why I like you to, this is why I like you guys to do your suit Saturday and, and make it hard on these dudes. See, when we were growing up, these roaches, these roaches would stay away. Now these roaches actually feel like they got the nerve to come out. Roaches like that would stay away, be like, let us get away from the, from the winners and let's stay over here in their lanes. But now you got roaches like this who think they can talk to you. Dude, you don't get to talk to me. We ain't on the same level. Yes, he, they give us a broke image. This is why I like, I, this is why I did this for so many brothers because I want brothers to actually step into where they're excellence. If you missed my Patreon live stream earlier today, Go check it out. And when brothers are doing what they need to be doing for themselves, yes, I want uh, you to be able to pick from the best caliber of women. Do what I can. And you say they don't agree with these dudes, they should raise up. Fitness mom, they don't even realize that. Uh, Anybody who's been watching me for a while realized that that's been a big issue. I, I, I <laughs> For the previous call, I need you to go ask yourself a question. While, you're, while your little feelings is all hurt, 
when you get out of your feelings, I need you to get on the Google or get on YouTube and you need to go search how many black male image consultants are here. Check to see how many black male image consultants are here. And then I need you to ask yourself, how many of them make videos talking to you? The black men that are in black and in, in style don't talk to you. They don't talk to you. They don't address you. Because they don't want to deal with dysfunction. Only guys like that decide they want to attack somebody trying to help somebody. Sean, you of course you know that. And see the guys, I'm glad guys like that call because ladies, that's your choice. You can either have the Sean's of the world and you need to snub those guys. You need to stop talking to them, stop interacting with them, stop giving them any time. Better to, better to wait for a CIA man, get yourself together, than even accept a free meal for somebody like that. Because, see, we expect women to do the same thing. I expect everybody to become the best version of themselves. See, when you're doing what you should be doing, you ain't got time to worry about what nobody else is doing. So, at the end of the day, um, Memorial Day, Black Girl Magic Makeover, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I hope it was beneficial. Um, I think I had a pretty good sample size, you know. Um, ladies, the takeaways, you're missing opportunities by not wearing heels. Heels change the way you walk, ladies. They change the way you walk and they change the... Like I tell the dudes, like I tell the guys, the shoes are the foundation of every outfit. Fit is more important than fashion. Quality is more important than quantity. Frames, fragrance, and footwear. Guys, right? Frames, fragrance, and footwear. The three Fs. While you may not have frames, fragrance, and footwear, everything. I don't care if you can be wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Or you can be wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Good, good footwear, good, good fragrance, change the game. Wait, can I call in? Um, let's see. What time is it? Let me see. I got, I, I got to grab something, guys. It's a little late. I'm supposed to be gone already. Hmm. I'll take one more call. I'll take a call or two. I'll take a call or two more. Now, he said the man has earned his title. Um, well, I would say this, that, you know, um, shout out to BGS when he asked me to make that video. I take a lot of pride in what I do. And uh, I, I study at it very hard. I commit myself to giving the best advice I can because I understand that people who take my advice, especially people who pay for my advice, they're paying for an outcome. And being able to change how somebody perceives themselves is, uh, is massive. And being able to change how somebody is perceived by others, life-changing. Hello? Okay, you're unmuted. You can go ahead. Hello? Hello. What's your first name, my friend? Ryan. What you got for me? So, uh, basically, I'm 23. I'm about to graduate in December, and... Uh, Quick summary, you know, I, I'm used to wearing sweats and shorts to class. And now that I'm, you know, about to graduate college, um, 
I'm looking for more clothes that you know, more sophisticated, more button downs. You know, what what's your degree? Uh, what do you plan on work? What do you plan on working? Supply chain management. Okay. Um, supply chain management. Will you be in? You'll be in office setting, warehouse setting. Yes, office setting. Okay. Uh, and do you know how people will be working? Or be, will be dressing at work? Um. So what I've seen is kind of like um, polo slacks. You know, just some nice dress shoes. Okay. Not really many blazers or jackets. Okay. Do me a favor. I don't know if you can set the phone down somewhere. Uh, but here, okay. So let me give all you young guys a real piece of gold. Without knowing your style personality, what I can do. Mm-hmm is recommend a place to get a lot of things. Um, okay. So first off, shoes. This is where you want to invest your money. You can skimp elsewhere, but shoes are important. So um, double monk strap shoes uh, are, are what I prefer to have younger guys wear because like lace-ups, they're just a little too stuffy. Monk straps got some style, some flair, and they're not as uh, casual as loafers. You can do a lot with McNani. Uh, McNani is a brand. There's another brand called Paul Evans. Those two brands. Uh, oh, okay. Now, as far as I'm always going to say denim, guys, denim needs to be dark, dark blue or black. No distressing, no tang. They should be on the level of dress, okay. dress denim. Um, now, if you're not going to be in a suit and tie environment, trousers are a big deal. Pants and suit supply, guys. Suit supply. I've done extensive research on this, and suit supply is one of the best places to go get uh, great looking, great fitting, affordable menswear on a massive scale. Do, do they have, do they have um, suit supplies in Houston? Yes. And, and okay. Suit Supply also has a try on at home program. So write this down the Napoli, N A P O L I. Napoli is an entry level suit that for $399, Suit Supply, you can order it on a Monday. They'll mail it out to you on that day. It'll probably have it to you by Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. You can try it on at home. If you like it, keep it. If not, send it right back. That's a great starter okay, suit. I got gotcha. suit supply suits in there right next to Tom Ford's. And people, uh, I, I love suit supply. Um, trousers. Start wearing trousers, not chinos, not dockers, trousers. Actual pants that look like they belong mm-hmm. in a part of a suit. So you can wear solids, you know, black, navy blue, uh, charcoal gray. Okay. And don't be afraid to put some you know, get something with like a window with a, a big bowl window pane, a check on it. All right. Then next white okay. dress shirts, white dress shirts, button up shirts are your friend. Um, okay. Suit supply makes great shirts. The travelers size guys. The most important thing is get your measurements made neck, chest, arm length, waist shoes, get your measurements done every six, every six months. See with white button ups, you can never go wrong, uh, but you'll be changing your shirting out often. And as you're a younger guy, um, you want to give yourself a chance to kind of have your style personality evolve. Uh, get Just get three basic white shirts, actually four basic white shirts. Um, and you can do a lot with these things. Um, and the same thing with polos. Polo shirts, I prefer to find polo shirts that are... are Try navy, navy color, deep navy, okay. blacks. Stay. I, I prefer to stay away from lighter colors. No bright colors. Lighter colors. Okay. Because I prefer darker pants and lighter shirts. Because you'll see, gotcha. you'll see, professional men tend to wear darker pants and lighter shirts because it almost looks like, like when I take this off, it looks like where's the suit jacket? Okay. Um, Sorry. And and getting get your one basic suit charcoal gray from the Napoli line. That'll be great. And then get you a nice, simple sport coat or blazer. Um, something that you can mm-hmm. throw on on top of a t-shirt and jeans. Uh, something very simple like that. Uh, and you're in Houston? Yes. Yes. Black v-neck uh, or black v-neck 
uh, merino wool sweater because you get really temperate you get really warm uh winters down there something very simple mm-hmm. and see that you, you want to stick to monochrome solids don't play with a lot of patterns don't play with a lot of colors yeah i, yeah, I don't really like patterns like uh, that I, I mostly wear solids and then after you get there uh i mean of course i'm telling you keep your nails trimmed clean get your nail brush get your tongue scraper scrape your tongue do you wear a fragrance every day yes yes okay. I just recently cool. started wearing fragrance every day from watching you. Yeah, something like Aqua de Jo, Perfumo will work, um, mm-hmm. Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage. You know, all you need is one. Guys. I've been I've been liking the Y EDP lately. There you go. All you, all you need is one that you got to wear it every day. And then if, if you're gonna mm-hmm. wear have a beard, you're gonna have to do your beard maintenance. You're gonna need to get your beard comb, a beard oil, and the whole beard routine. Because just like I was telling the ladies, a, a big area guys miss with their beard is s- fragrance, scenting your beard. Oh, I've, never uh, I've never thought about that. Yeah. Uh, scenting your beard, just like I tell the ladies with the froze, your beard should have a little luster, a little sheen to it. It should feel mm-hmm. soft mm-hmm. and it should have a nice smell. Because you got to realize, if you don't put scent on it, a fragrance on it, what is going gonna to catch the outdoor air, it's going to catch food, all that other kind of stuff. But if you get used to taking care of your beard and scenting your beard with beard oil, beard oil, like Tom Ford has a beard oil called Oudwood. Uh, fucking fabulous is the one. Yeah, okay. Trust me. Uh, and and then the beard oil can also double as you just kind of run it across your hair. So you get it in your beard and you just run yeah, it across right. your hair. So um, that's just backup fragrance. Because if you're going to have that beard, you need to take care of it. Um, and it's actually usually longer than this. It's pretty short right well, there now. You go. So, so again, it's a commitment. So commit to it. Take care of it. Um, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of if, for men who have beards like that. You know, your barber needs to know how to how to care for that thing too. There's an entire regiment that comes with beard care. Um, so there you go. All right. All right thank you. You're thank very you. welcome, man. Peace out. All right. Uh, oh, one one last okay. question. Um, you said the the take home suit was Napoli, right? N A P O N A P O L Y. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Guys, beards. You gotta. You gotta. Even even me with this little at the five o'clock shadow thing, I, I still use a little beard conditioner. Uh huh. Um, let me tell you guys something. That, hold up. Well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, hold up. Guys. Gentlemen, invest in this. This is a Clarisonic men's facial scrub. This is what you put your, you don't wash your face with Dove soap. You get a facial cleanser. Jack Black does fine. They got an entire line of body products from head to toe. In the morning and in the evening. Leave this in the shower. Trust me, guys. This is how I keep my skin looking the way it does. Especially brothers. We get... Once we get a bump or a pimple or something, it leaves behind a scar. Facial wash, facial scrub, moisturizer. That's what every guy needs minimum. You know, eye cream. Uh, I, I use it. You know, if you have puffy under eyes, you don't want to look old before your time. And a serum. Uh, Tej Hanley, Aaron Moreno, Alpha M Channel, makes an entire in-the-end kit, 45 bucks. Give you a month supply. This is the key to everything. Cleans here. Clean here. This is your T-zone. This is where you get the pimples. And then also here. In here. And this particular um, cleanser is specifically for men. It'll beep about 40 seconds into it. And go into, uh, let's see if we can catch it. (laughs) 
See a beep right there. That goes in for the beard area. It goes into overdrive for the beard area where you can raise the bumps and stuff like that. One of the best investments you'll ever make. Your girlfriend will love it too. Yeah, I said it. That's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. That's right, I said it. You get in the shower, I'll be like, baby, why my, why my, why my facial cleanser always, battery always out? Oh, girl. Better save something for me. Better save something for me. Uh, what about bumps on the neck? Well, you, you avoid bumps on the neck by um, keeping your face clean. See, one of, the, one of the reasons why, first off, buy, stop buying cheap razors. Shave uh, the right way. Don't shave against the grain. Um, and take care. So really, you got you got to make keep your face clean, especially if you live in the south or in in hot and humid places. Yeah, man. Uh, we keep oil on our face, so and I, I sweat a lot for my face, so I, I cleanse all the time, or else you'll start to break out. I look younger than I did five years ago in some of my videos. There you go, worth every penny, worth every penny. So, guys, did you was this interesting? Do you use clippers? No, man. Clippers? I, I'm not a big fan of clippers, man. I, I'm very particular about what I put on my face, man. Uh, I I have straighter hair, though. So my hair is actually straight, so it doesn't didn't grow out ingrown. Uh, did you guys find this? In, was it beneficial? I hope it was good. Shout out to the CIA. Guys, enjoy the rest of the month. It was cool. It was fun. I got new songs, too. I got new songs. We out of here. Hold on, we got to get that started again. We got new songs. Good stuff. Peace out, people.